A mysterious sea creature was just spotted off the coast of North Carolina, and it's got a lot of people scratching their heads. And Rachel had a camera. I said, Rachel, let's take a picture of this thing. It looks crazy. As summer arrives, people flock to reservoir beaches to relax and have fun. Whether you're sunbathing, playing games, fishing, or just hanging out with friends, there's something for everyone. However, in this episode, we will visit the most incredible beach moments captured on camera. If these beach moments were not filmed, no one would believe it. Marriage proposal gone wrong. For months, Eric Barreto had been secretly plotting the perfect proposal. He carefully set up a special hot air balloon ride for himself and his unsuspecting girlfriend, hoping to wow her with the stunning views of the San Diego coast. The big day was October 9th, 2014. Everything seemed perfect as they took off with a pilot and began to take in the breathtaking views. As the sun set and the moment felt just right, Eric dropped to one knee and asked his girlfriend to marry him. She said yes, and the proposal seemed to go off without a hitch. But then, things took a shocking turn. Suddenly, the wind shifted direction, pushing their balloon off course. The balloon began to struggle, getting dangerously close to the water, which was crowded with surfers. To make matters worse, the pilot was running low on fuel, and one of the passengers couldn't swim. Panic set in as the situation worsened. The pilot was in a tough spot, unable to gain altitude, and with no fuel to land safely elsewhere, the heavy balloon, if it deflated, could cause serious injuries to the surfers below. Fortunately, lifeguards on jet skis and surfboards quickly came to the rescue. The lifeguards acted quickly, and the couple was safely brought to shore, where everyone cheered as they saw the rescue unfold. Despite the chaos, no one was hurt, and Eric's now fiancé ended up with one of the most unforgettable proposal stories ever. However, it's safe to say that neither of them will be eager to get into a hot air balloon anytime soon. Water Spout Sochi, a gorgeous resort city on Russia's southwestern coast, is famous for its beautiful Black Sea beaches and is a top choice for a summer vacation. Even though it's known for hosting one of the most talked about Olympic Games ever, Sochi still attracts sun seekers and beach lovers year after year. However, on July 22, 2022, something happened that almost ruined what should have been a perfect day at the beach. As visitors enjoyed the sun and surf, a massive water spout began to form over the ocean. While most water spouts are relatively weak and don't pose much danger, this one was different. It quickly turned into a powerful force, targeting a beachfront dock and cafe. Water spouts are usually considered weak weather phenomena, unlike the more intense tornadoes and thunderstorms that have strong rotating updrafts. They typically form over warm coastal waters like those of the Black Sea or the Gulf of Mexico and rarely reach significant strength. Fortunately, this water spout only caused damage to the dock and cafe. Luckily, everyone at the beach stayed at a safe distance and filmed the event, resulting in some memorable footage. Man Films Lightning Strike Up Close When most people think of Florida beaches, they imagine soft sand and warm water, not giant bolts of lightning. But on August 2017, a local man got a shocking surprise while recording a thunderstorm from his balcony. As the sky erupted with lightning, one bolt struck alarmingly close, right in front of him. The footage captures the intense moment as the man exclaims in surprise and quickly realizes the danger. He remarks on how deafening and frightening the lightning strike is, and you can hear the raw power of nature in his voice. The lightning seems to land right where the waves are crashing, making the moment both breathtaking and dangerous. Even though he's aware of the danger, the cameraman stays outside for a bit longer before wisely retreating inside. According to the National Weather Service, lightning can heat the air around it to a staggering 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, five times hotter than the surface of the sun. It's a striking reminder of nature's incredible force and the importance of staying safe during storms. The plane crash. In mid-April of 2020, folks in southeastern Florida were buzzing with excitement for the Cocoa Beach Air Show, an annual spring event held near Patrick Space Force Base in Brevard County. The show was off to a thrilling start, with everything going smoothly, until a vintage World War plane suddenly began flying much lower than expected. At first, sunbathers on Cocoa Beach thought it was just part of the stunt, but as the plane continued to descend lower and lower, concern started to spread. One onlooker, caught up in the moment, recorded the scene on Snapchat and watched in disbelief as people scrambled out of the water. Fortunately, the pilot managed to keep the plane aloft long enough to find a clear patch of water to crash land in. Thankfully, no swimmers were nearby when the crash occurred, and the pilot was able to climb out safely and decline medical treatment. The plane in question was a vintage TBM Avenger, 
a torpedo bomber used by the United States during World War II. It had been meticulously restored and returned to the skies in 2020. According to the pilot, a mechanical issue caused the plane to lose altitude. With limited options, he chose to crash into the water rather than on the crowded beach. Despite this incident, the rest of the airshow continued without a hitch. Meanwhile, cranes were brought in to lift the vintage bomber out of the ocean and transport it back to the Space Force base by truck. Jet Blast Extravaganza Nothing compares to the thrilling sound of a fighter jet breaking the sound barrier. To do this, pilots have to push their jets to speeds over 750 miles per hour. As they fly through the sky, they create powerful pressure waves, much like the wake a boat leaves behind in water. When a jet hits the speed of sound, these waves come together to make a loud, explosive noise known as a sonic boom that you can hear on the ground. In 2016, beachgoers in Pensacola, Florida, got an earful of what that sounds like. Along with the sonic boom, you might see a cone-shaped cloud around the jet. This isn't the sound barrier itself, but a phenomenon scientists think is caused by condensation. When the air pressure around the jet drops, it causes water droplets to form, especially in humid places like Florida. This creates a visible effect against the otherwise invisible sound waves. A similar spectacle happened at the 2015 Pensacola Beach Air Show. During the event, a pair of Blue Angels provided the crowd with an unexpected thrill. They pulled off a stunt similar to a magician's sleight of hand. While everyone's attention was on one jet, the second one swooped in with a surprising and stunning low flyby. The stunt was impressive, but it came with its share of risks. Without any prior warning, the jet flew incredibly low, sending tents and other items into the air, which turned the area into a whirlwind of chaos. The force of the jet blast created a scene that was both crazy and dangerous. Fortunately, no one was injured, but the close pass could have easily caused serious harm. It's unclear if the pilot intended to fly that low, but despite the chaos, the crowd clearly enjoyed the thrilling spectacle. Beach Bubble Bath in Cape Town Cape Town, the oldest city in South Africa, is not only a historical gem, but also a center of culture and politics. As the legislative capital and the second largest city after Johannesburg, Cape Town is renowned for its breathtaking scenery and lively atmosphere, which even earned it a spot on the New York Times list of the best places to visit in 2016. However, in the summer of 2020, with COVID-19 keeping many tourists away, the city encountered a quieter scene than usual. In mid-2020, Cape Town experienced a rare phenomenon, a massive surge of seafoam washed ashore. With the city largely quiet, the beach was transformed into an unexpected bubble bath. The frothy sea foam crashing onto the coast brought out the playful side in even the most serious adults. One local described it as the best bubble bath ever, providing a delightful distraction during the chilly winter months of June, July, and August. The fun began when strong gale force winds whipped up large amounts of foam. Carried by 33-foot waves, this foam surged over seawalls and spilled into the streets. While the scene was entertaining, it also led to some flooding and uprooted trees. Nevertheless, residents embraced the unusual weather event, turning a gloomy pandemic period into something memorable. The Maho Beach. Maho Beach, on the Dutch side of St. Martin in the Caribbean, might be one of the most exciting beaches out there. What sets it apart is its spot right behind Princess Juliana International Airport. This means the beach is right in the flight path for both landing and departing planes. When jets come into land, they look like they're about to hit the beach, creating an amazing spectacle. And when planes take off, their powerful jet blasts can knock people off their feet and even blow them into the water. That's why there's so much footage from Maho Beach. People love filming the thrilling jet blasts and the brave souls who hang onto the fence to feel the full force of the jets. Those who wisely stay on the beach have to brace themselves against the powerful wind from the plains and hope they don't get pushed into the ocean. Imagine arriving at Maho Beach with no idea what's coming. You're relaxing, enjoying a sandwich, when suddenly a massive wave of sand and debris crashes over you. Your towel gets swept into the water and your relaxing day is abruptly ruined. 
plane spotting is so popular here that nearby restaurants and beach bars even display flight arrival and departure times for visitors. During the final approach, planes fly less than 100 feet above the beach. Though there are plenty of warning signs about the dangers, the beach is well aware of why people come and makes sure to cover its liability bases. From beach fun to beach finds, Jason's Wild Ride. New Smyrna Beach in Volusia County, Florida, is a cozy coastal city about 15 miles south of Daytona Beach. With around 30,000 residents, it's a place where folks savor sunny Florida days, either by relaxing on the sandy shores or driving their vehicles right on the beach. This beachside tradition of driving on the sand has been a favorite pastime in Daytona, St. Augustine, and New Smyrna for many years. However, there's one important rule. When high tide comes in, cars are not allowed on the beach for safety reasons. This rule helps protect both people and vehicles from the dangers of rising water. Despite this, in August 2020, 49-year-old Jason Brusevich decided the rules didn't apply to him. Ignoring the do not enter signs, he drove his truck onto the beach, hoping to have some fun in the ocean. As you might expect, driving into high tide is far from a wise choice. It wasn't hard for the police to spot Jason. He was the only one daring enough to take his truck into the surf. When the officers arrived, they found Jason surprisingly upbeat despite his predicament. He insisted that the truck's problems were not his fault and seemed baffled about why he was being stopped. One officer explained that driving on the beach was not allowed when the gates were closed. Jason, expressing confusion and mixing in some British slang, replied that it wasn't his fault and that things were different from England. In the end, Jason was arrested for ignoring the do not enter signs and failing to pay the beach entrance fee. His truck was towed and he faced a $200 bail. Although his beach escapade turned out to be costly, the smile on his face suggested that, despite the trouble, the thrill of his joyride made it all worthwhile. The young girl was swept by the wave. On a sunny day at Perrinporth Beach in Cornwall, a young girl, around six years old, was enjoying a serene moment, paddling with the gentle waves just brushing her ankles. But in a split second, the tranquility was shattered by a sudden surge of tide that swept in forcefully. The powerful rush of water knocked the little girl off her feet, sending her into the churning sea. Fortunately, two adults who were with her acted quickly. They rushed to her aid and managed to grab her just in time, preventing her from being dragged further out into the ocean. Their swift response ensured she was safe. Ryla Langhell, who happened to be strolling on the beach, captured the rescue on camera. The footage vividly portrays the intense moments of the rescue, showing just how quickly the peaceful beach scene turned into a chaotic situation. Beach House swept off its feet. A beach house in Rodanthe was captured on camera as a powerful wave gradually swept it off its feet, slowly dismantling it. This unfolding scene shows how vulnerable Rodanthe is, a small, close-knit community on the outer banks of North Carolina with just over 200 residents. Owning property in such a desirable coastal location is expensive, so if you are fortunate enough to have a piece of it, investing in high-quality insurance is essential. This became painfully clear in May 2022 when Rodanthe was battered by a severe and prolonged storm. For several days, the area endured relentless strong winds and enormous waves. The storm's intensity took a heavy toll on the beachfront properties, with many homes struggling against the relentless forces of nature. One of the most heartbreaking moments came when the stilts supporting a particular Rodanthe house buckled under the pressure. As the storm raged on, the rising waters overwhelmed the property, causing the house to be gradually lifted and eventually carried away by the surging waves. The site was devastating for the homeowners, who could only watch in despair as their cherished home was swallowed by the storm. The Kangaroo Rescue On October 27th, an extraordinary rescue unfolded on an Australian beach, showcasing a situation you would rarely see elsewhere. The police were called after reports came in about a distressed kangaroo swimming in the rough surf. A bystander recorded the unusual situation on video. Although kangaroos are capable swimmers thanks to their large, paddle-like feet, this particular kangaroo was clearly struggling against the turbulent waves. 
The situation rapidly escalated when it became clear that the kangaroo was in serious trouble. The animal was repeatedly submerged underwater, which indicated to the officers that it was at imminent risk of drowning. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, the police swiftly intervened. They reached the unconscious kangaroo, pulled it out of the water, and brought it safely to the shore. There, they performed chest compressions until the kangaroo started to breathe again, turning a potentially tragic situation into a remarkable rescue. One of the officers emphasized the significance of the rescue, noting that every life is worth saving and that they did everything they could. Thanks to their prompt actions, the kangaroo's life was spared, transforming a dangerous situation into an impressive display of compassion. Lauderdale by the Sea Lauderdale by the Sea, or LBTS as the locals call it, is a lovely town in Broward County, Florida. It's famous for its beautiful beaches, warm water, and soft white sand. But on October 22, 2022, what started as a peaceful day at the beach turned into something surprising. While people were enjoying the sunny weather, a water spout, which is like a small tornado over the water, moved onto the shore. Thankfully, a woman at the beach recorded the whole event. Her video shows the water spout spinning and swirling as it came closer to the beach. Even though the water spout looked impressive, it wasn't strong enough to cause serious damage. However, the strong wind did pick up loose items and send them flying through the air. While water spouts are usually less dangerous than tornadoes, it's still a good idea to stay away from them. The wind can still cause trouble, like tossing boats and umbrellas around. Wallabies battling by the beach. A courageous baby wallaby became an unexpected hero after getting hit in the face while trying to break up a heated fight between two larger male wallabies on an Australian beach. The scene unfolded at Cape Hillsborough Beach in Mackay, Queensland, Australia, where marine biologist and tour guide Samantha Tilden captured the whole episode on video. The footage shows a little wallaby bravely attempting to intervene in the tussle between the older wallabies. Unfortunately, instead of stopping the fight, Charlie ended up taking a direct hit to the face. Samantha, who was leading a tour group at the time, noted that while everyone was safely observing from a distance, the whole situation was quite entertaining to watch. Tornado hits sunny beach. In the heel of Italy, Apulia stands out with the longest coastline of any Italian region. Bordered by the Adriatic Sea to the east and the Ionian Sea to the south, it's no wonder that Apulia is known for its stunningly beautiful and abundant beaches. On August 25, 2020, people at Maldives del Salento were having a perfect day at the beach with bright sunshine and clear turquoise waters. But suddenly, everything changed. The sky grew dark, lightning flashed, and a rare tornado appeared, heading right onto the beach. What started as a peaceful day turned into a chaotic and frightening scene. The sudden tornado left everyone on the beach in confusion. Some people stood frozen, trying to capture the scene on their phones, while others panicked and searched for safety. Amidst the chaos, a loudspeaker announcement urged everyone to clear the beach. Although people were initially concerned about the lightning, the appearance of the tornado made the situation even more urgent. Many took refuge inside a nearby beach bar, while others hurried to their cars. The cameraman, who was at the beach with his family, remembers seeing two ambulances speeding away as soon as he stopped filming. Europe experiences between 300 and 400 tornadoes each year, with water spouts being even more common, occurring almost 600 times annually along its coastlines. Despite its relatively small size, Italy has recorded five of the 10 worst tornadoes in European history, the ice sheets. Fort Erie is a small Canadian town situated just across the United States border from Buffalo, New York, directly on the other side of the Niagara River. On February 24, 2019, while filming along the retaining wall, a local resident named George Karanis witnessed something unusual. Massive chunks of ice began to tumble over the edge. These ice sheets form on the Niagara River when temperatures drop significantly. As strong winds pick up, they create what's known as an ice shove. George discovered firsthand just how dangerous these ice shoves can be. In his footage, George's surprise is clearly visible as he watches the ice begin to move at an alarming speed. He remarked on how swiftly the situation developed, emphasizing that things escalated really, really fast. As he recorded, the ice continued to accumulate rapidly, adding to the urgency and intensity of the moment. The current was so swift that it hurled giant chunks of ice over the retaining wall. Soon, huge mounds of ice and snow accumulated, 
resembling what one might see after a team of snowplows had cleared a parking lot. In reality, all that ice had come from the Niagara River. The area around Niagara Falls experienced hurricane force winds for over 48 hours. Thousands of people lost power, businesses had to close and schools couldn't hold classes. The relentless wind pushed the top layer of ice up and over the barrier walls, piling it as high as 30 feet in some areas. Water spout surprise hits. Guangdong Beach. In the center of Guangdong Province, China, there is a popular city that draws many visitors every year, especially when the weather gets warmer. People come to this city for its beautiful beaches and delicious, freshly caught seafood. But sometimes, vacations don't go as smoothly as expected. On May 3rd, 2021, an unexpected event occurred when a sudden water spout emerged seemingly out of nowhere in the South China Sea. This swirling column of water made its way toward the shore, and depending on your vantage point, it could either be a mesmerizing sight or a nerve-wracking spectacle right in front of you. As the water spout, now resembling a beach tornado, barreled towards the sand, it whipped up everything in its path. Loose items on the beach were tossed around like toys. Fortunately, it wasn't powerful enough to lift people off their feet, but it did create a scene of chaos. Security personnel scrambled to clear the beach, but with so many tourists wanting to capture the moment, it was a challenging task. Many people stood their ground, eagerly taking photos and videos of the unusual event. Grand Theft Yacht In early March 2022, a man in Newport Beach, California, decided to steal a boat, targeting a 60-foot yacht at the Balboa Bay Resort. Knowing the yacht was being serviced, he figured the keys would be inside. He waited for the workers to leave, then jumped from the dock onto the deck. However, things did not go as he had planned. While attempting a joyride in the harbor, Joel misjudged his speed. Several witnesses on the docks watched in astonishment as Joel steered the yacht straight toward them. One bystander captured the moment when what started as a grand theft turned into a series of mishaps. Joel's escape was short-lived. His chaotic joyride ended when he collided with another boat and then smashed into the seawall. Turkey's wild beach tsunami. A powerful 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck the Aegean Sea between Turkey and Greece, causing significant upheaval. This event, which occurred on October 30th, 2020, brought serious challenges to both countries. Although its epicenter was near the Greek island of Samos, the Turkish city of Izmir endured the majority of the damage. Earthquakes can trigger other natural disasters, such as volcanic eruptions, landslides, and tsunamis. Two Turkish men experienced this firsthand, when their seemingly ordinary day at the beach turned into a dramatic escape. Would they have been okay? Probably, but why risk having their entire car swept out to sea? The waves initially appeared harmless, but then one of them spotted a massive wave rushing toward the shore. Next time, they might think twice before heading to the beach during a tsunami warning. The Izmir earthquake was so powerful that people 200 miles away in Istanbul felt the tremors. According to the news, most of the destruction was concentrated in Izmir, a city that heavily depends on tourism. Fortunately, those featured in this video were able to escape without injury. Pohang Beach Pohang, a bustling coastal city in Gyeongsang Province, South Korea, is home to around half a million people. Known for its strategic importance, it regularly hosts joint military exercises between the United States and South Korean navies. On March 31, 2014, one of these exercises was particularly striking. Aerial footage revealed an impressive display as forces launched from ships in the ocean and expertly maneuvered towards the beach. The small boats you see are amphibious vehicles that convert into tanks once they reach land. The video showcases these vehicles in action, moving seamlessly from sea to land. Thousands of service members from both countries, along with other allied troops, participated in these drills. They became a regular sight in Pohang until 2018, when leaders from the United States and South Korea decided to scale back the exercises to reduce tensions with North Korea. Unfortunately, this approach did not succeed in calming the situation as North Korea continued its aggressive behavior. In response, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol promised to bring the exercises back. By 2023, the amphibious drills were back in full swing. The hope is that these resumed exercises will strengthen military readiness and alliances without escalating tensions further. Mines at the beach. Before Russia invaded Ukraine, tourists flocked to the Odisha region along the Black Sea coast. They would bask in the sun, 
enjoy luxurious resorts and sink their toes into the warm white sand. But everything changed when war erupted. Now, the once idyllic beaches are strewn with buried mines, set in place to thwart a potential Russian amphibious invasion. Meanwhile, the Russians have deployed their own mines in the ocean, and sometimes these mines break free from their chains and drift ashore. You might have seen unusual objects wash up on the beach before, but a naval mine is something entirely different. Ukrainian soldiers approach the mine to defuse it. They carefully inspect every part of the device and eventually remove what appears to be the main charge, connected to several wires. The final step is to dig a hole and safely detonate the mine themselves. Naval mines have been around since the 14th century, first used by China. The United States began using them during the Revolutionary War. Back then, they were simply watertight barrels filled with gunpowder. Today, modern naval mines are packed with high explosives that detonate on impact. Navies use them to trap enemy ships or to protect their assets. Let's hope these dangerous devices stop disrupting what used to be a beautiful day at the beach. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.